Hello, Phil from Got Memories here, coming to you with another unfortunate episode of Legacy Box Screws Up. So I have had a job in, one of many I get all the time from my YouTube videos with this company, Legacy Box, aka Kodak Digitizing Services, aka South Tree. They're all the same company. They spam your inbox, they're all over social media, and they run your tapes through filthy, worn out players transferred by Muppets um, and the resulting quality can be atrocious. Most of the time it is. I'm, I don't hear any good stories. Um, and if you are thinking about using them, check the reviews. Check not just reviews because there are fake reviews up there, like weird sites they've got pointing you to. All you have to do is go to their Facebook ads and see the ones with a sizable amount of comments and then click on the comments, like 100 comments, and just scroll, and you will start to see everybody pissed off. Just go, where's my stuff? Or no one's called me back, my order's mixed up. I've received other people's tapes. Um, tapes are missing, files are missing, files are unwatchable. It's everywhere, and if anybody from Legacy Box is watching right now, my goodness, hire me to sort your problems out, and then maybe you won't get any more, Oh my God, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I've been dealing with this for years. But anyway, here we have um, a box. Now, it's a box within a box. It is a legacy box. Typical. Uh, I've scratched out the customer's name, but uh, they ship it on to me. Here at Got Memories. And just to let you know that, you know, they've gone through Got Memories. They've got the stickers on them. Um, here's a note from the customer um, sending you my stuff uh, from Lazy Box, as he even called it himself. Um, and here he put a disc in that, you know, is going to pop it in right now. So you can take a look at the comparison. So no doubt there it is a Legacy Box disc. It's not really focusing, but that's their disc. And also one thing to note, their DVDs, they scratch really easily because um, they're using cheap discs. So I use grade A discs and they're using like grade C. You can see the difference in the deepness of the purple there. That cheap disc there will, well, usually delete itself after a couple of years and any tiny little... Um, scratch can render the disc useless. So um, I have put a tape in here, the one sample that he sent, because he sent 10 tapes to me, he had way more done. So this is the tape. Uh, I'm gonna put the legacy box disc in and I'm just gonna bring up uh, the, the thing here. I'm doing this all one handed. So. I'm gonna put the disc in and you can see it's gonna load right now. And you can skip through this portion if so. Um, and I've been doing this for 20 years, so long time. And had, here we go. So, right, so it's DVD. So it's auto playing. So look at this at the beginning. So here we are, we're counting. Oh, it's play, it says channel two at the beginning. So whoever started to record this, they've got the indents on there. So you'll get in all of this back screen stuff. What is happening here? I have no idea. Look at this, video calibration. That's on their player. That's And that's recording onto the DVD. No picture, in and out. Look at this. And then the picture disappears. I don't want to show it. So look here. There it goes again. And we'll see here in a second. It should just go again. There we go. So this is picture disappears. All right, I'm just going to kill this right now. So I've hit stop on the DVD. Now, this is the VHS, the original VHS. So there we can see it's playing from the VHS there and hit stop. So the tape is absolutely fine. Now here is what uh, I transferred and here is what I ripped the disc. Now I can tell that 
they more than likely are ripping, they go into a DVD and then they're ripping these discs. They're not doing a capture straight from the source. Because look, this is counting right now. Oh, you got my hand in the way there. So, uh, yeah, so look at this and they've got this. I mean, if I just scroll through, I mean, every every 10 seconds or so, the image is disappearing. But yeah, it's just shockingly bad. I mean, this isn't bad actually compared to what I see, but look, like the picture disappears. Um, yeah, there it is. Whoops. Yeah, this comes from worn out. Look at this, whole time. Picture's good. And I've got this uh, titled as Lazy Box. Lazy Box, focus, and there we go. Pictures back again. So that's their copy. Now I've retransferred everything here, and you can see the picture's a lot cleaner, the edges. Audio is a lot louder. And I'm not showing the whole picture because I don't like to show off customers tapes really but you're getting the point here but you can just scan the whole way through and there's no blue screen there's no static there's no nothing um, it's just a really clean copy you can go that quickly through the whole thing and I trim it at the end as well let's have a look and see if they trim their clip uh, oh they did oh no I did that that was but yeah look just see all this here we go blank it didn't trim it it's look all this here is just blank space look and that's their count that's the rewinding indent on their vcrs so look all this here and they're so lazy that they don't even trim off all this dead space on the end so where they've got two hours and four minutes uh let's have a look again two hours and four minutes of footage here, I've trimmed it down to one hour 21. That's exactly what the entire thing is. The, the last frame, I trim it. So yeah, here's Legacy Box, Lazy Box. And also they have so much wasted packaging. This was inside the box. It's like, I mean, stretched out about nine feet of uh, packaging. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, careful contains home moves and pictures. The irony is they don't care. Um, yes. So that is it. And, uh, this is got memories. This is me. I've been doing this for a very long time. This is what you need to do. If you're looking around for a company to transfer your home movies, go to Google. Don't go through all these like bird eye, uh, sites um, that kind of convolute it. If they're a subscriber, they can hide stuff. Um, Google reviews doesn't lie. Yelp is kind of, uh, I'm not a big fan of Yelp, um, but this is all the customers around the world that have sent me their stuff via YouTube. Uh, you're watching me on YouTube and there is nothing to hide. This industry is all about complete transparency and this stuff is aging, it's old, the players are getting rarer, the tapes are deteriorating, the heads get clogged constantly. Um, but if it is transferred with nice clean equipment, it's gonna have a nice clean picture to it. And you need to have somebody that is monitoring this stuff because they don't monitor anything. They just hit play, leave it alone, walk away. They've got, probably what I can gather is um, they have monitors like one monitor for like a whole slew of decks and they just have a selector on the side and they kind of switch to just to see if something's rolling or not uh, they just walk away and leave it which you cannot do with this stuff i mean these tapes here are from uh nine uh what 1990 uh, 2003 2003 2004 these are kind of new um and also having them where they're all itemized like this were neat and tidy um yeah so 
it, you've got one copy of this stuff. So you need to do your homework. You need to find whoever you'll, even if you're looking local, um, you know, make sure they've got a YouTube channel, make sure you can see the owner, the equipment, the place, so you've got that extra peace of mind, warm and fuzzy feeling that you, the one copy of your home movies is in great hands. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. If you do want to go get a quote through gotmemories.com, um, I uh, am, uh, let's have a look. I am by appointment for Phoenix drop-offs. So um, I am centrally located, but make sure you email, call or text uh, before you head here. Um, and I like to get everyone's information in terms of what you have so I can give you a quote, like a proper quote where you see the prices, no hidden fees, there's no nothing, there's no funny business um, because I've been doing this a long time and all I want and like to have is happy customers. We're all on the same page. Um, if you're looking around for the cheapest price and that is your only, only thing, you're like, I just want cheap. I'm not your guy. You can go to Legacy Box, take a chance, all these other online box companies. Um, but you're going to more than likely get burnt six month turnaround times. This isn't a purchase where you take a chance. This isn't ordering something off Amazon. This is something that's near and dear to you. These tapes contain precious memories and you got to do your homework. So all the best to you. Hopefully this might have put the brakes on you making a big mistake. Um, but uh, anyway, gotmemories.com if you want to get a quote. Otherwise, the best of luck to you guys out there. All right, cheers.